Okay, so this is going to be a continuation of the last episode about utility classes. So we still have some more classes to cover, so we're just going to jump right into it. Create a new class, and this one is going to be point 2D. Now we're going to need this class when we talk about sampling, which is for anti-aliasing purposes. But for now, just need to know that we need to create a 2d point space so what we could do is as usual oops we could create a default constructor and a unique constructor so obviously since this is two dimensions we only want the x and y values so that is basically it for our point 2D class. That's all we really need. So the next class that we are going to make is actually integral to uh, lighting and ray object intersections, and that is the normal. And what a normal is is a vector a unit vector generally in graphics we like to normalize our vectors that is perpendicular to a point on the surface so let's say you take a horizontal plane let's say you're sitting at a desk right now you take a horizontal plane your normal vector to that plane would be pointing straight up perpendicular to the desk so what we can do is it is basically the same thing as a vector so three values x y and z you can create a default constructor you can also create uh, one thing you add is for your default constructor what you could do instead of 0, 0.0 you could do 1.0 which be a normal vector pointing upward unit vector but I like to just do it 0 since we don't really use it this is our unique constructor Let's us define a normal. Seems like a lot of the same stuff, but it's important to separate out so that our software is very readable. And as this is a documentation of my creation of my open source software for my master's degree project thought I would document everything so we have our constructors what we could do is let's see we could create some dots public double dot we can do let's say actually you know what we will do Let's go back to the vector 3D and point 3D class. And what we can do is add in the dot here. So we'll just do double dot normal, normal, x times point normal dot x plus y times normal dot y plus z times normal dot z. We could also do the same in here. So now that we have updated that, what we could do is create a dot with another normal. Not sure if this will be necessary or useful, but we can add it and always delete it later if we never use it. Like I said before, generally a larger executable doesn't hinder performance, so leave it like that. Also, what is very common in graphics is normalizing vectors. So what we're going to do is find the magnitude of the vector, in this case the normal, and then let's see this is square root, I think that's right, 
and you divide each component by itself and the magnitude. So this would be an in-place normalization. What we could do is just copy this into our vector. What we could do is uh, avoid normalize. What we could do is when we create our normal, we just take a vector and normalize it. So it might not even be necessary to have normalize in here. So I think that just about covers this episode. We'll make this a three-parter because we have two more to talk about. But I think we got a lot done. We got the three constructors for a vector. We have add, subtract, you can dot with each of the different uh, classes we've created, and then we can normalize our vector. For our normal, we have three constructors dot with the normal and normalize okay so let's check our point three constructors we have add subtract and then the dots the three dots and finally our point 2d class the two constructors are all we need okay so i'm going to end this episode right here